Hey everybody, hope the holidays have uh, been treating you well. Just wanted to show you a little something that I got in from Chauvet the other day, the Core 3x3s. Uh, kind of my little Christmas present. And I'm going to do a couple videos on these. I love these lights. They're absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to do one on kind of the back and looking through the, the functions of the light that you can reach from the back. And uh, one kind of from the front just showing you what the light would do. Super impressed with the versatility of these lights. All right, starting off, you can set them up in three channel DMX, red, green, blue, five channel DMX. You got some more advanced features, nine channel DMX, 27 channel DMX, or where I've been running them, 31 channel DMX, uh, which just gives you a lot of function. Allows you to control each one of the uh, kind of diodes in the front. I'll show you the front of that one uh, individually. So the red, the green, and the blue in each one of those. And uh, then there are some special macros and things as well within that. Colors, you can create colors that is uh, green and blue. I mean red and blue together. Red by itself. Green by itself. I don't know if you can see that showing up on the wall. Blue by itself. So you can create some colors within the light itself also. Uh, programs. There are several programs that are built into the lights. Uh, kind of go through those from the front. Uh, as well but all these are, are something different as well as these lights do have a sound active mode uh, and your brightness you can change the brightness uh, to whatever you want it to be even though you're not hooked DMX which is uh, a, a big help because these things are super super bright that's uh, your microphone sensitivity and then adjusting each light to make a custom color uh, is available also Dimmer profiles. There are four different dimmer profiles, three profiles and off. And uh, what it does is it, it affects the light and how quickly a light transitions from one color to the other, say from red to green. Uh, if you have a dimmer profile set up and you're using say one, two, or three, it's going to be more slow about changing from red to green. It's not going to be an instant change. There's going to be a moment of say uh, yellow in there. And depending on which profile you're using, that, that fade from one color to the other will be a little slower. Sometimes that's perfect, sometimes it's not what you're looking for. Uh, that is one of the things that I haven't been able to find that I can to be able to reach that via DMX. Uh, there may be a way, but I haven't located it yet. Uh, but if you can't reach that DMX, that, that is kind of a shortfall of this light. But there are so many really cool features that it is so far outweighed by the different things that you can do pixel mapping and uh, things like that so uh, fan you can choose a fan speed auto uh, is, is pretty much what 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 I use uh, you can set them in a master slave mode and of course we're back around to three channel uh, and you can go up to like 31 channel which is where I end up and then I hit enter all right let's take a look at the front of these real quickly and see if I can get you in here close enough to see the chip on board technology right in the center there kind of right where the red dot is now that's showing that I'm recording but if you look at that there are nine little squares in there that's the chip on board technology that's what's creating all the light that's going to come out of these things and they are incredibly powerful three red three green and three blue but the color mixing is spot-on perfect from the get-go and we'll look at that we'll look at some yellows and some ambers and kind of an incandescent color that I've also made uh, with these really really cool lights uh, while we're talking about the function of the lights if you look up top here and uh, as well as on the side and, and the bottom and the other side of these lights they can hook together you take an Allen wrench put it right in there and turn it and these lights hook together so that you could make a wall out of them uh, similar to what you see on TV shows uh, the voice I see a wall of lights that look very similar to these is uh, all the time on the voice they're doing different chases across it uh, kind of brightness fades some things like that so a lot of TV shows are using these kind of making a wall out of them and uh, these are able to do that and lock together as well. 
Also, the power is linkable, and of course, DMX is linkable, uh, but power in and out, so that makes it a lot easier when you're trying to build a, a complete wall out of these. All right, so we'll be back in a minute. We'll take a look at the front side. 